Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas Dust, where you join Doc Mitchell in, yeah, pretty good shape, all things considered. We've got ourselves some good armor, but then, oh, sorry, wine wore off there. Yeah, I've got myself some pretty good armor. Slight problem, however, slight little issue. I'm extremely hungry and food is proving hard to come by. So today, finding myself an okay source of food, pretty darn important. So it's bloody lucky I think I just saw an ant. Oh yes, there are ants here. Oh yeah, I'm glad there are ants. But this whole area, the lake bed, the vault, the substation, Novak, yeah, that's what we want to explore today. Now, I've got myself a fair bit of ammo in this here silence 10mm, so ants aren't exactly the best eating, but they'll do at a flipping push. And just double check there, yeah, that is indeed a fire ant, so be careful. These guys, if they get close, they're going to be breathing fire, which is, you know, not good. Oh, and I've drawn the attention of a large one, I think. Hello! Right, okay, 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 Boom. Oh, yeah. Watch out for him. And, oh, yeah, even with the headshots. There you go. Gonna take a few bullets to bring these lads down. Range on the... Oh, there goes the vodka as well. On the plus side, I think that's me. Yep, leveled up to level four. Mighty, mighty level four. Now, as I did last time, because I did this before, but then I died, so it didn't stick. Probably rushing up to gun 65, so I get guns a little bit better. Yeah, I've got, you know, enough ammo, enough guns for the time being to keep myself using guns just for now. I'm pretty happy with that. The question is, do I really want to go for 15 extra action points, or would I rather go for burden to bear? Or, actually, can I just boost strength? Is that even allowed? I can't remember checking if that's actually here. Yeah, intense training is still available. So I could take the extra point of strength. That'd be... That's only five extra carry weight, but it would also come with derived stats up, so I get a little bit of a boost to my melee weapons, for example. And yeah, potentially it might unlock some more stuff, and I'll hit a bit harder with my melee. Or I could take Burden to Bear. Burden to Bear is 10, but doesn't actually give me anything in terms of, yeah, bonuses elsewhere. So do I want five or ten more pounds? Am I willing to make the trade? And I'm going to guess at some point it's going to be pretty much compulsory to take Ghost Hunter. Because if I can actually kill the ghost people, that actually might be a pretty decent source of XP. Just finish them off. They seem actually pretty flimsy for the most part. Alternatively, Gunslinger. I do have good pistols and plenty of ammo for them. Rifles are pretty heavy. And to be honest, when I do get out rifles, I'm mostly manually targeting. Having, yeah, but then it's just VATS accuracy. At VATS accuracy, if I'm getting up close and personal to somebody, ooh, is that really a good idea? This is the one that really tempts me, revolver training. So I've got that police pistol, and that's actually pretty darn powerful. I've got tons of ammo for it, so double the chance of a critical, less spread, and doesn't come with any negatives, unlike plenty of these other perks. Screw it, I'm just going to take the extra five on the intense and then just get some additional benefits on top of that. I'm not sure if that's the right way to go, but strength, I'm just going to increase up to eight. Lovely. And now, with the benefit of some vodka, yeah, I'm up to 115 at this exact moment in time, even though I'm pretty hungry. Now, speaking of hungry, hello, fire and meat. So, problem is that actually reduces strength by one. Food is only minus 48, rads plus 8, not much healing. Take it anyway, and yeah, fire at nectar for fire resistance, intelligence down, agility. Actually, you know what, I could just take that and use it right away. I'm going to be taking out some fire ants right now. Yeah, go on, why not? Use some nice fire ant nectar, let's be on our way. Let's just go over junk rounds as well, no reason to actually waste my good ammo yet. Found the dry lake here. Hello, have you decided to come and pay attention to me? I think you have, or at least you will in a minute. Fine. And we'll just put some bullets in your face. There we go. With oh, well, I'm glad I took that fire resistance now then. That worked out pretty well for me. Hello. You're just a little one, aren't you? Well, you're probably going to be squishier. And oh, yeah, much squishier. Right. Okay. 
You're not worth much in the way of XP, though. The big lads aren't so bad. That's not bad at all. Take more meat. Need to find somewhere to... Ooh. Need to find somewhere to cook it. Over there, there's totally a campfire. Right. Skirt around the edges over here. We've cleared out the ants this side of the lake. This will do for the time being. Go into hiding in a second, mind, because there might be someone by that campfire. Just in case there is. Go over to different ammo. I don't want to immediately run out of ammo. And... Survivor. Survivor hostile. Fine. Get around the other side of the sign from him. Just get right up close. Vats him in the head. Job done. Yeah, the billboard's going to be very, very useful right here. I can basically just get around the back of him. And I'm in too uh, tired. Okay, well, I'm pretty close by to Novak right now. And there's the motel. I'll be able to use one of the beds in there. That won't be a problem. So, yeah, I'm not in great shape right now. I'm already back to being a little bit thirsty. <laughs> despite my recent trip to the lake. Okay, and... Slow. 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 And boom, boom, boom. Okay. Dead. Lovely. Probably could have got him down better. Now, is that supposed to be the lonesome drifter? Um, no. He's got lucky on him. That's interesting. That is not what I was expecting. A note, mind, and I'll take lucky. Sure, I might just actually, <laughs> I might just repair up my own police pistol with lucky if I'm allowed to. Now, slight problem here. Sure, I can make a Brahmin steak, but what about the ants? Fire ant fricassee unfortunately requires flour and cram. Okay, hang on, I'm trying to remember. Is there any way just to, like, straight up cook ants? Apparently flipping not. Right, well, in that case, what we probably want to do with the ant meat is just eat it all raw. That's probably the best actual plan I've got right now. Because if I just eat that, sure, I'll have strength minus one. But right now, I'm pretty sure I'm suffering from... Uh, yeah, I've got strength minus two of advanced starvation. Now, that minus one shouldn't stack. So if I just basically eat all of that meat to get my hunger down, we should actually be in pretty good shape. Hopefully. Now, this is going to actually have a fair few rads in it as well. But screw it, we can just drink that away. So, there we go. So I feel less hungry... Keep eating that. So, my actual weight capacity has gone up at this point. Because, sure, I'm suffering from minus one strength off the fire ant meat. But, I've got rid of... Yeah, I've got rid of hunger completely. Which is marvellous. Well, for the time being, anyway. I might just want to actually kill some more of them and eat some more of that raw. Because, yeah, when there's no disease, there's no parasites or anything. I may as well just eat all that raw just to get that down. Sleep is starting to get a bit bad, but nothing too major yet. Water is not such a big deal. Fine. So this exact moment in time, my strength is... Yeah, my strength's 10. And remember, it makes it's capped at 10. So at this point... Yeah, I can't actually get it any higher than 120. 120 is my absolute upper ceiling, even if I'm drinking. Though then again, I do actually need to start getting some... Yeah, some water down and just keep taking the chems. Because I'll just pick up more and more perks from that. Yeah, do the last whiskey. Go on. So, there we go. That'll start getting the rads in the right direction, too. Now, that note. You had a note on you. You are one lucky SOB, Jim. Can't believe you made it out of Vegas. I saw the NCR lock those gates. I thought you were a goner. Anyways, we're heading south, like you said. Got the gang back together and everything. Meet you at Searchlights. Well, we've got a destination, potentially. Camp Searchlight, except, well, in the base game, that's heavily radiated and full of ghouls. So, who exactly is going to be there now? And who's Jim and Mel? Those names don't ring a bell. Those must be new characters. Fine. Who exactly is... Well, I'm guessing Jim might actually be, you know, this guy <laughs> who I just killed. <laughs> Hi, Jim. So, uh, yeah... Interesting. Interesting, interesting stuff. Can I actually sleep? Oh, I could sleep here if I wanted to. But no, wait for the actual good quality beds. Right, okay. Good starting point here. We've got some food. We've got a nice little destination. The game is definitely suggesting, hey, you might want to check out Camp Searchlight at some point. That's not actually too far. Whiskey's already wearing off there. Yeah, if I just head south straight away, then I'll hit Novak in the not-too-distant future. And then, yeah... 
Then I've actually got two routes I could follow to take me down towards Camp Searchlight. So, this is one I don't know so well, to be honest. Because basically, no one ever uses this route. Because, <laughs> you know, generally you'll come to uh, Ulysses' Ranch and then you'll just kind of loop up this way. The way most people always go. So, uh, this route down here, yeah, it's not very often used. I can't remember what's even there in the base game. Never mind what's likely to be here now. Right, back onto the lake bed, because before we head into Novak, there's more we need to explore over here, of course. There's Vault 11, and there's the substation. This looks like this is pretty safe. Honestly, I'm pretty good just moving at a decent pace around here. I might take out one of the big lads, to be honest, because, yeah, I could do with a little bit more on the XP. I do see one of the large soldiers over there. Am I right now? No, I'm still hidden for the time being. Could just snipe one of them off with my rifle, but honestly, given these guys are pretty easy to take out, I'd rather save the ammo. Right, hello. Are you aware of me by any chance? I don't know. How about you? Yeah, how about you just come in this direction? That'd be marvellous. So, we'll just... Okay, you picked a very lucky moment to just duck out the way there. Soldier fire ant and... Should be almost dead. There you go. Back to... I'm still in danger officially. Right, well that's... Yeah, that's 45. That's not bad at all. Take the meat, just keep basically eating it, snarfle all of that, and come on. There you go. And then, oh, hello, sorry. Luckily, you're not very powerful, are you? No. And then one more will do you. And I'm running low on the, oh, uh-oh. I'm running low on the old 10 millimeter. Go over to something a bit more on the powerful side. There you go. And then I'm doing plenty of damage, apparently, to people. And then... Come on, there you go. Oh, whoa, 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 have I just walked into someone? I've walked in, wait, where did you come from? Where did you come from? Oh, God. Right, and, okay, this is not the time to have problems with the gun. Seriously. Somehow they managed to get behind me. Right, okay, get, 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 get away, get away, get away. Okay, I'm slightly on fire right now, but it's fine. Just, just finish off the little worker lads. There you go, and I want to say there you go. Come on, this gun has got more spread in it, I think. Okay, one goes down, but oh, there's a flipping cure of them now. This is no good at all. Actually, this might not be the worst thing in the world. Do I have a nice explosive to toss at all of them? I do. This would be perfect. So, okay, hang on. And go. And that will do the flipping job. Admittedly, I've set fire to things that breathe fire. Is that a good idea or not? Probably not. Though, actually, they do seem to be burning out over time. If they just want to keep burning out, they might just die if I'm lucky. No! Just shy, boo! Right, well, I guess we'll just finish you off then. And down goes the last. Okay, well, that's taken some damage. But on the plus side, I can just help myself to all of the meat and basically get my food down to zero. Together with eggs, I can just eat the eggs as well. Beautiful. All right, so... Water's creeping up slowly, food's down to zero, and I've got one spare meat. Sleep is fine for the time being. We're in decent shape, but that did cost me a fair amount of ammunition. On the plus side, I'm already, yeah, making my way slowly towards the actual next level two. I need to get my health back as well. Hang on, what have I got that would help with that? Yeah, one bandage, screw it, that'll do. And I am slowly losing a bit of water. Go on, let's actually just have that as well. Fine, so that'll get my health ticking up at a decent clip. Feels like I've cleared most of the ants out for the time being. Yeah, okay. Feels like the lake bed's now pretty clear. They kind of swarmed at the end and somehow got behind me, but screw it. That'll do. Fine, let's have a little look see what we got around this side of the world then. Also, tragically, yeah, because Lucky's actually like a special gun, I can't actually use it to improve my police pistol. <laughs> so I'm stuck with this weapon I don't actually want, even though it's a special one, because, yeah, I'd rather use police pistol just because... The base damage is actually higher, and it's got that bonus critical damage. And there's the dino in the distance. I see you. Fine. Time to actually figure out, at some point or other, what is going on with uh, Novak. Do I dare hope for a flipping shop? Okay, number one, Vault 11. Don't know whether I really want to explore this place, but I'll give it a look see. Now, the thing is, we got ourselves, yeah, right now, scorpions. And a little bit on the, yeah, difficult to deal with side scorpions. Ammo intensive. So we'll just finish you off and then perfect world. Get around you without you stinging me. And then just wait for you. 
These guys are pretty easy to take care of, really. Fine. I'm not sure you can actually eat scorpions, but screw it. Okay. That's just 18, yeah. 18 XP for that much ammo is not a great trade. Question is, what else is here? Ah, more flipping ants. But, normal ants, as opposed to fire ants. That's of interest. I tell you what, they seem to be holding still for whatever reason. And I've got some lovely, lovely dynamite here. 60% chance to hit, you say. Well, how about we just toss in some extra over there? That'll do some good work. I'm going to say that'll do some good work. How did that not hit you? Now I'm starting to wonder if they're not actually capable of leaving the vault. Because they seem to be not making much progress towards me. That could be of interest. Yeah, can you guys not actually leave? Is that a thing you... One of you just disappeared as well. And now you're back. Okay. This is... Let's just quickly go for a swing at you. Yeah, you don't seem to be good at attacking right now. So, actually, yeah, okay. If you guys want to, like, not attack... Can I attack you through? I can just attack you through here. Well, this all works for me. Except, hang on. That noise. That's ghost people. I can hear that. Yeah, that's a ghost person. No question there. Also, by any chance... Yeah, we got ourselves... Wait, hang on. Where's the 10 millimeter? Where's the 10 millimeter you guys used to kill yourselves? Because I assume... Well, I don't know whether the now deceased courier was supposed to have come here or not. But that is 100% ghost people. I probably don't want to tangle with them, given I literally can't kill them. Still, I'll take a nuke cola. Guess my sleep down just a tiny bit. Are we really going to do this? It's open. We could just leave. And yes, indeed. We've got the standard security recording right here. Gotcha. And yeah, they're right there. They know where I am. Right, okay. Just... How many are there? Well, just the one there. I may as well just kind of have a little bit of a poke around. See what I can see. I literally just saw you in here. Because I know for a fact there's... Oh, blimey. There's a few of them. There's a few of them. They don't seem to have the fire bombs, though. Um, let's just head through. Oh, that's more ants. Let's just not let them through there. NCR Trooper. Old armor. Because, oh yeah, this place is just ant central right now. Well, if you guys seem to be incapable of actually attacking me for the time being, I want to just wail on you, because I think there is. Yeah, there's beer in this room. I'll gladly take some beer, thank you. And also an ashtray. Just picked up an ashtray. Should probably remember to put that down. That's extra weight. Don't forget to take the meat, though. That meat's going to keep me going, just basically harvesting raw ant flesh. That'll do the job very nicely. And I'll take some whiskey and wine, too. Oh, this has been an excellent little excursion. But probably at this point, I ought to... Okay. Now at this point, they're, they're a little bit close to me. Now we've got... Okay. What I need to do is I need to lure them into this room. And then I need to have them... Yeah, come at me one way. Then I just leap around the other. Except now they're walking... Now they're walking away. Guys, do you want to just want to... Oh dear. This is going to be... And also, hang on, I need to... Wait, 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 don't come in just now, I'm, I'm not drunk. Well, thank God I just found that whiskey. Right, okay, yeah, come in here, come in here, come in here, come in here. Oh, uh-oh, now they're coming in, now they're coming in, now they're coming in. Oh, no, 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 no. But they're only punching me. If they don't have weapons, that's not even that bad. Okay, wait, can you guys do doors? Well, I can't do doors, so that's... We're kind of pretty even, actually. Excuse me. Okay, you can just go away. And then we've got... Oh, then we've got more flipping ants. More doors, more... Okay, I should really not be doing this. This is this is a mistake. At this point, I'm just charging around and, and basically causing trouble. And, and I really shouldn't. There's more ants, there's more... Okay, I've decided I think I should just leave. Uh, check the lockers on the way out. Nothing I really desperately need there. No, it's time to go. 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 Loop around the outside. Uh, let those guys come to me. Remember this place is... Okay, you guys are annoying. But on the plus side, you basically can't hurt me. Okay. Full of ghost people. Might want to come back when I've taken the ghost person perk. But, plus side, did pick up some booze there at least. Nice to know it's not looking that dangerous. Also, a ghost is apparently unconscious. Possibly because it decided to tangle with uh, ants? I don't know. Yeah, the interesting thing about the ghost people, of course, is uh, 
if you use any ammo on them, that's just wasted ammo because you're not swapping it for any XP. Because if they're just unconscious, you're not earning any XP. And also the ghost people are continuing to just be unconscious. Not quite sure why, but apparently they are. Alright, question. Who, if anyone, is currently holding the substation? Because, yeah, that would be, well, it was important for the dam. But the dam's basically useless now. It's just a block of concrete. So, oh, oh, oh. Hello. Who's holding the substation? And who's trying to take it from them and getting shot for their trouble? That much gunfire makes me think NCR. And I am too far away to see right now. That looks like yeah, NCR. Fine. And what was that behind them? Something. Not a ghoul. That... I'd almost say that looks like a marked man. Interesting. Honestly, it's not worth me taking on the NCR for no reason. Move straight on. Move it straight on up. Those guys hit hard and have big guns. Alright, not worth the ammo. Let's just head up towards Helio Swamp and see what's going on there. Together with, actually, Old Lady Gibson Scrapyard. That's actually not potentially a terrible base. That's going to have beds be fairly isolated and out of the way. That might be a good little base to launch an incursion into Novak. And once it gets to Novak, yeah, Nelson's only just around the corner. This could all work. This could be fine. And I'm actually swimming in ant meat right now. So, for the time being at least, food is not a problem. However, where's the next... Where's the next puddle of water? Now that, that I do not know. Let's just have a little look at Helios 1. Because I've got a bad feeling about Helios 1. Logically, the NCR wouldn't still be holding that. Canonically, they should have lost it. Okay, well... Depends what the ending was. If the ending was a vaguely NCR-friendly yes man, then the NCR might still be able to hold Helios 1. But then, if the Brotherhood themselves had to abandon it at some point, would they really still be making the effort to hold it? Actually, maybe they would. Think about it logically. All right, they came here because they wanted the power shipped back to California. But if there's no power coming off the dam anymore, then whatever's left that could make power... John, look at the sky. Look up, John. Look up. Okay. Massive dust storms. Because the game's called Dust. I'm guessing in constant massive dust storms, uh, solar arrays are not so on the useful side anymore. Uh, I've got a gunshot over there. But not much gunfire. Okay. And don't forget, there is a side door. So if they are guarding the front... Oh, hang on. What's the lock? That I do not remember. What is that? That is a guard dog. Alright, that also referred to as dinner. Cannibals! Okay. Interesting. There's the whiskey, by the way. As long as I've got the booze to increase my strength by plus three, I can keep just actually doing the, uh, the ant meat. Because the minus one strength doesn't actually mean anything. Can I get in here? Yes! Yes, I can! Very easy! Nice! Okay, the question is, have I just made a horrible mistake coming in here? Because potentially, well, very likely, there's going to be some cannibals. Okay, microfusion, may as well grab some of that business. Keep on grabbing what we got. Right, let's see what we got. Bear in mind, sometimes ruined doors, you can see through them. And the answer is... For now... We're in good shape. Fine. So, I've avoided the front door. This seems to be working for the time being. And we do have small oh, problems, mind. And hello. You need to just go very quickly down, thank you. Right, down you go. Into caution. Someone else is still around. Reload quickly, please. And come on, oh, I need to improve this. Nope, back to hidden good. Leather armor and a machete. I tell you what, for the most part, these guys seem to not have guns. I might want to consider just going over to the super sledge and taking them on like that. But before we do that, head upstairs. Because, ah, there's beds upstairs. Just be very careful. Very, very careful. And, oh, hang on. 
I thought there were beds upstairs. Where am I thinking of? I'm thinking of a totally unrelated... Oh, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm actually fine here. Uh -huh. Oh, uh-oh. I'm pretty sure there's... This does not look how I remember it. Was this how it always was? I'm not sure. I'm just going to close that door. If that door opens, fire at anyone on the far side. Well, I've got the reflector passwords at least. Back down to caution. Fine, not good at... Never mind, they were good at tracking me. Right, well, two shots in the head will do for you. And never mind. One shot in the head will do for you. Lovely. Cannibals. Nice and soft and squishy. And worth 45 XP each. Trading one bullet for 45 XP. I will take that and all. Okay. Some slight, slight human. Damage is sanity. But if you wash it down with some vodka, maybe you won't notice or care. And all of the notes are, yeah, exactly the same as in the base game. Fine. Let's keep cracking on here. But then again, do I actually want to take this opportunity to have a little nap? Can't. Too many enemies nearby anyway. Fine. Back over to... Oh, hello! Right, well, you guys can just die if you'd be so kind. Because you're trying to... Are you trying to hit me with a radiator? I think you are, you know. Right, well, you guys can all just go down. No, don't fall down! Never mind, I'll go and get you corpse in a second. Right, this is going to get me up to level 5 very quickly. So, broadly, I should be fine with it. Oh, yeah, we got lots of homemade explosives, too. This will do here, and... Hmm. Strange meat pie. It's not even that good, but it doesn't hurt my strength. It does hurt my sanity. I wonder how much buy. It's probably not a bad idea to take it. I mean, my real choice is, what do I want to do here? Do I want to eat strange meat pies that's human flesh, which gives me minus 55, rads up, little bit of healing, damages my sanity? Or eat the ant meat, food minus 47, but that actually hurts my strength. Would I rather eat people or be slightly weaker? I'm going to be honest, I'd actually rather eat the people, yes. Ooh, and I just got 68 XP for drinking enough booze. I feel game like you're actually rewarding kind of, you know, not exactly good behavior there, but whatever. Especially as... Ooh, we got ourselves a dog there. That's nice. Hello. No, no, come back. Come back. Come on, 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 come on. Okay, or just stand there and growl at me until I shoot you. Either is fine. Because that there, that's dog meat. Dog meat we most definitely do actually want, yes. And that's, that's still the dog. That's a cannibal mind. You see, the strange meat pies may technically be human, but it's cooked human. And that's, you know, in some ways better than than raw meat. Let's just get out the massive hammer. These guys do not seem to have guns. So I can probably just, you know, move in, clear them out, see what's going on over in Helios 1 itself. That is just... Ah! Those glasses always there. Right. Listen. There's definitely some movement happening back there. Okay. Oh, you've actually got a gun. No! Okay. Well, this is embarrassing. This is very embarrassing. This is the one guy... Who I actually thought, I'll use my... Uh-oh, oh, no. oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. That will just swing at you. Down you go. Right. He was only worth nine. Right, cost me a bit of health, but I can get my health back. Is that it? Also, do either of you have the Western Reflector whatever on you by any chance? Ooh, Dust, Musket, and War Club. War Club is... How is that? Waste 316. No, obviously not. Uh, take the 9mm, even though I don't need it right now. How about you? Ah, 10mm, that'll do. Makes your fry fall. More meat pies. It's cooked. It may be human, but it's cooked human. I'll take it. Ooh, and a hot plate. I've finally got a flipping hot plate. And I can also go for a nice sleep here. Okay, that's probably not a bad idea. Let's see what's going on down in Helios. And then once I'm done with that, come back here, have a nice nap. Will actually be in good shape to move towards Novak at that point. Especially if I could find some uh, some water. Water would be magnificent. Uh-oh. Something's around here. What is it? It is. Okay. Some of you have got throwables. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. And block. Go for the big hit. Finish you off. Oh, my super sledge is just slaughtering these guys. Okay. It's just cannibals. It's just cannibals. And right now... I'm trading condition of... Ooh! It's red and shiny with blood. I like my super sledge. Right. A claw hammer. Okay. I think I can do better than that, actually. All right. Have a little looksy roundy. 
What else have we got down here? Because I might not be able to... Well, I don't have the fiery thing anyway, so it doesn't actually matter. I don't need to fix that thing. Let's just have a little... Oh. You are weirdly a yellow cannibal. That's of interest. Right, well, if he's around here... And there's a dog as well. Probably best, yeah, if he's got a gun. Governor, my gun. Definitely don't want to be caught in a gunfight with a hammer. Even if it's a really good hammer. You just want to be a little bit careful about that business right around here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where are you? Into caution already. Right. And go! No, probably... There's one over there. There's one over... Oh, there's... There's a few of them. And they've actually got guns now. That's a concern. Right, get a bit closer. There we go. That'll be close enough for the headshots. One, two, and then back off. And the dog's coming. That's fine. That's probably close enough for a head to you. Yes, it is. Dead. Lovely. That's some nice dog meat. Back off. I don't have much in the way of cover right now. And one of them's actually got a gun. One of them's got a gun. One of them's got a gun. One of them's got a gun. Right. Oh, several. Oh, this might have been a mistake. This, this might be a mistake. Right. Hide among the solar panels. They're throwing explosives, and then the game crashed. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take these two guys right here, and I'm going to say, that's fine, that's good enough, let's just clear up the rest of the cannibals inside, and call it a day. The XP is reward enough. Especially as, yeah, okay, it's 5pm now. Not really desperately urgently time for me to have a sleep. Let's just head back through the building, and clear out the front, because I think... Possibly the people at the front desk, if there were any, they've already come through to deal with me. Actually, I may as well loop up around the top way, see what's going on up here. Might be able to loot a bit more there. Plus, the more important thing, now I've got that hot plate, I can convert dog to dog steak on the fly. Which is very, very nice indeed. So yeah, that there, pretty good healing item, and food minus 66, no negative consequences whatsoever. Though, oh, hang on. That is a, I'll take a beer, thank you. Right, have a little look, see. Coming to the far end. Yeah, we kind of looped around the back here. So now we're coming up on, that should lead through to the reception from the left as you would see it as you come into the building normally. No one seems to be in here, so whoever would normally be here, they're already on the dead side. And nothing I need there, fine. In which case, how many people are through this door? And, wait, hang on. This is not, that is though, that's the right door. I was one door off. Right through here. And, hello. Oh, hi there. Are you the last cannibal? And by any chance, are you actually, oh my goodness. He's actually guarding. He's guarding all the same stuff that's there in the base game. And all the same stuff that's there in the base game includes a giant pile of 308 ammo. Oh, flip. Oh, flip me. And that's actually a doctor's bag. Oh, flip me. Oh, this turned out to be an excellent series of decisions. That's a water fountain. Just, oh, it doesn't work. Right, I need to find a... I need to find a toilet. If I could just find a toilet to drink out of, this would be the best day ever. Gun cabinet empty, but as I was hoping for, 308 rounds. Though the number has been reduced. Yeah, the stack has been reduced to just one. So that's four 308 bullets. And oh, six pulse grenades. Now that's heavy. Actually, they only weigh 0.5, which is good. There's some morphine, potato crisps. Sure, I'll have that. Actually, I won't because I'm good for food right now, but I don't want to make my thirst worse. I mean, I'd like to keep those pulse grenades. Because if I do run into some robots, it will be useful to have something that straight up hard counters them. But if I've got those that have damage 5, well, base 5, that's damage 4. Screw it. Drop the improvised ones, I've actually got loads of proper ones. Uh, tin grenade is damage 44, that's damage. Let's just check my various homemade explosives. They're better already, to be honest. Also, I've just become addicted to scotch. Which... I kind of thought I already was. I thought I was already addicted to pretty much every form of alcohol, but no matter. Yeah, unfortunately, this place, I think, doesn't actually have a toilet. So there is no toilet I can drink out of. But at Novak, 
there are loads of toilets because, yep, I know I'm suffering from scotch withdrawal. Quite frankly, I'm mildly surprised because apparently every single different type of booze has its own actual, uh, yeah, withdrawal and uh, whatever. But okay, that's that's fine. Then we've got ourselves to... Oh, uh-oh. Slight, slight problem. I just walked outside as there was a dog there. Okay, uh, let's get out the massive hammer. If you'd be so kind. Does anyone actually have a gun around here? You've got a... You've got a gun. That's a concern. Right. In that case, I'm probably going to want a gun too. Uh, you, however, do not have a gun. Neither do... Okay, obviously the people without the guns didn't charge forward. Because they don't have to. Because, you know, they're the ones with the guns. Well, finish off you. And then finish off you. And then I've still got plenty of ammo for the next. That's 95. There we go. You just walk around the corner like an idiot. Fortunately, you're already weak from something. Down you go. And the kill cam actually lets me see around the corner. Looks like clear. Most of the way to level 5. Right. Well, you guys have been extremely useful. Thank you so, so much. Double dog meat as well, which is good. But I'm once again struggling with carry weights. And... You know what? I think we're actually okay. I'll leave that be. Actually, you know what? I may as well just eat it while it's right here. Now, what else do we have here? Because there's a corpse here that I didn't make. Cannibals. Yeah, something already attacked these cannibals. Uh, makeshift rifles. Pies. I can do without that. Wine is wearing off. I'll take ammo because... Or maybe I won't because some of the ammo is quite flipping heavy. And we've got... Ooh. All right. Hunting rifle. That is damage 16. Now that is, that's a lot worse than my current, well, it's only a bit worse than my current main rifle. It weighs 0.5 more, but I've got a lot more ammo for it. I'm not, hmm. I mean, is it worth just swapping over purely because I've actually got the ammo? I mean, that's got to be, okay, how much ammo do I actually have here? 44, it's 7, and we're done. Okay, 308, I've got 16, and also one junk on top of that. Do I really want to do that? I mean, it's it's a waste, but I can't afford to take both, and I do actually have the ammo to, to change over. Yeah, go on. Let's just do it. Let's just swap that over. But actually, I'll take this, and then I'll actually store this in the box. So, if I ever want it back, like, you know, later, if I use up all of the 308 in, like, Novak or whatever, remember that's there. Also, probably dump this, because it's quite heavy and I'm not using it. Alright, so I've got my hunting rifle now. I like the sights on that pretty nice anyway. I've still got this. How many normal bullets do I have? Oh, my massive stockpile of 357 is starting to become a problem. And also, yeah... I'm um, loading and using my guns a bit on the slow side because I'm so flipping drunk and hungover simultaneously. Oh yeah, that agility won. Beautiful. You know what? It's fine. It's all fine. It was all worth it. I've just made an absolute flipping ton of XP over there. I've also found a ton of food and it's cooked food. And we just don't ask questions about exactly what animal it was, you know, cut out of. Because that's not really my problem because I'm not the one that did it. Alright, eating human flesh is fine if you're not the person that killed the human or cut the meat out of the human. What is a problem, however, is uh, there's gunfire going on somewhere around here. We're coming up on the edge of uh, Novak. Now, obviously, they've got themselves a water tower. It's almost certainly dry and not going to do anything. So, actually, there is the, there's the little shack here, isn't it? This is... Oh, hang on. Yeah, that's, uh, what is it? Elijah's shack that Veronica takes you to. So that is just basic survivors. They have a better chance of being armed than a cannibal. Keep my distance. I just want to scope out what's going on. Ah, yes! Gibson Scrapyard. I'm guessing old lady Gibson's not there anymore, but I'll give it a look, say. Now, what is going on at Gibson Scrapyard, or formerly Gibson Scrapyard? No one on the road. Seems pretty quiet for now. Get to a bit of a view where I can see something. Well, there's dogs. Actual dogs. Also, ooh. I was detected for a second, but the dog is supposed to be hostile. And also, don't forget, I've got myself a pile of dog meat right now. And I think 
Dog steak is... No, it does weigh the same. Fine. I thought it weighed slightly less. I was hoping I might be able to, like, you know, cook a bit off or whatever, but sadly not. And then, yeah, it also doesn't update until you go out and come back in. Now, I'll be honest, I'd be surprised if those were old Lady Gibson's dogs when, you know, those dogs were, you know, dogs. They don't actually live that long, but screw it. Give it a go. Come on, bring it on, you bastards. And, oh, what have you got in your head? You've got something in your head. And then, oh, right, they're nice and close now, and they just kind of miss me on the... What do you mean, missed? What do you mean? Oh, it's his eyes. Yes, sometimes dogs' eyeballs just render outside of their own head. That happens in New Vegas, and it's happened twice here. So that's good. In come more dogs, and oh, I'll take that, thank you. Have you actually got eyes inside your... I think you've actually got eyes inside your head. So that's nice. Now this is going to be another big old pile of dog meat. Lovely. Oh yeah, we're up to dog state five now. We're in good shape. Like food, food is under control. Water is starting to become a problem. Sleep, there's plenty of beds everywhere. That's not the biggest deal in the world. The question now is... Uh, yeah, there we are. Gibson Scrapyard. No longer old lady. So, is there a Gibson Jr. running the place? And also, is anything going on in the scrapyard itself? Something's going on in here, and it turns out to be a dog with eyes outside of its head. Beautiful, that's exactly what I was hoping for. And yeah, back here, there's a few bits of random trash, but honestly, nothing I actually need. But... I'll actually take very easy, because that's a surprisingly large amount of XP. Yeah, 36 to go. So that there, 72 XP for nothing. Lovely. And there's totally another dog around here. Hello! Oh. You're a friendly dog. Hello. Right. I've found where the friendly dogs are. But it looks like I can't actually interact with them in any way. Well, this is good. This is very nice. Good boy. Sadly, I cannot invite them with me and create a dog army. But for whatever reason, two of those dogs are not hostile. Or possibly, they're just the clever dogs. The other dogs attacked me and all got killed in one shot. These dogs saw that and figured out, hey, maybe we shouldn't actually try that. Maybe that's been proven to be a really, really flipping stupid idea. Let's just be cool with this person. Right, step inside to... Oh, bloody hell, more dogs. Well, more dogs means more meat. It's not really the worst thing in the world. Though, I should probably, as I can actually sort out my... my oh! Oh, wow, there's, no, there's actually a person with a gun. Person with a gun. Person with a gun. Dangerous. Hello! Who are you exactly? Um, I'm gonna be honest, I've already killed, like, all of your dogs. Like, this one is... This one's next. Honestly, I'm doing them a kindness. Because for some reason, you cut the eyes out of their head. And then glued them to the side of the face. Which is really cruel of you. And you decide to step around there. You've got the big boomer, don't you? Yes, you do. I don't actually want it because it's kind of trash. <laughs> big boomer is kind of a trash gun. Still, it's nice to know it's there. Uh, yeah. It's a pretty decent gun for dealing with... Ooh, Old Lady Gibson's key. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, and the settlement flyer. We already know about that. That's saying, hey, come down to the sewers. But in the sewers, there's nothing but cannibals. It's totally a trap. Yeah. It's a shotgun. It's very powerful at point-blank range against enemies that have zero damage threshold. So, uh, I mean, arguably, I suppose that means it might have a purpose against, say, tunnelers. It would actually be quite effective against those bastards. Oh, and this is welcome. Atomic Cocktails. Yeah, Atomic Cocktails are actually pretty decent. Because, yeah, just sleep down massively. I would like to take that. And the rest of the booze there. Any chance I could have myself? No. No nukers, though. I mean, these things are great. Because two Atomic Cocktails, that can basically just drain your sleep back down to zero. If you can just keep drinking Atomic Cocktails, you literally never have to sleep. But it does have a pretty big hit on your water. So I'd rather not do it right this second. Now, with her key, that also suggests I might be able to crack open, uh, yeah, a locked box that's going to be floating around in here, where you actually use... Ooh, some thrust control modules! You know what? They don't weigh anything, because they're technically a quest item. I'll take them. Right, nothing else here as far as I can tell. I probably don't want to sleep just yet. It's still not quite night. While I've still got a little bit of light out, and that bottle is just doing a weird little jig... I wouldn't mind going to see what's going on in town. And I'm going to leave behind that. Yeah, shotguns. The problem is shotguns are trash. 
right up to the point where you've taken multiple shotgun perks. Then, shotguns are amazing, but I'm not going to be taking those perks for a while, so this just doesn't work for me. I will, however, try and take... Oh, flip. I just need to stack all of this food as well as I can. I've already taken... I mean, oh! Ray's Brain! I'm going to take Ray's Brain! So I suppose according to this, therefore, yeah, canonically, that was supposed to be Ray, who was somehow still alive, which doesn't make the slightest bit of sense based on, you know, the lifespan of dogs, but... Yeah, we were even told by Old Lady Gibson in the base game, oh, Ray's getting old. <laughs> but apparently, yeah, she was just, like, still here. Perfectly alive anyway. That is a good brain she must have had. Right, that brings us up to six dog steaks right now. We are in good shape food-wise, especially as I've also got, yeah, just some backup human, which I will only eat in emergencies. And oh yeah, time is definitely starting to tick along here. We have got the red of the evening. Okay, it's time to figure out what the current state of Novak is. Because I do not see any people silhouetted over there. Wouldn't mind just nipping inside. Yeah, you got no Bark's house right on the edge of town. I could just kind of head in that direction, have a little poke around, step inside. So if there's someone in there, I could just kill them. No problem. And oh, bloody hell. That reloading speed. That flipping reloading speed with agility one. Marvellous. Loving agility one. Still hidden for the time being. I mean, oh. Cannibals. Okay. How bad it? Oh, they've got many guns. These are well-armed cannibals. This might... Oh, this might... And they've also got explosives. This... This might not fly. I mean, these guys are flimsy. But if they've all got guns, if they are relatively well-put-together cannibals... And also, they're taking two bullets. The cannibals have run into a Helios with one bullet and done. Oh, what the hell have you got? Oh, flip. You've got... Oh, no. Okay. And also, I've got my hand stuck in a wall, the final humiliation. All right, so, new plan. This is going to be all about the angle. I Oh, hang on. Can you get on top of these? Hang on, if I just if I just position myself correctly, can I actually get on top of this car structure? This might be a really nice spot for the actual hunting rifle to do some work. No, can't see a way to get up, unfortunately. Fine. This is all about having the right angle of approach. Uh, by the way, is that... Is that a person or a rock? This is not necessarily the right light conditions either. If I approach over the bridge, then... Okay, John. Remember the thing about the bridge. It's literally set up so that there's actually, like, you know, a sniper overlooking it. But if I could out-snipe the sniper, having a long, big kill alley across the bridge, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Okay. Let's just loop around that way and also see if I can find anyone inside uh, the dino's mouth. Because if I can just basically get into the hotel, I'm happy to leave most of the town be. That is just bubbling tar. Can't drink that. Yeah, I need water. I need a top up of water. That's kind of the priority right now. And oh, I see. I see something up there. There is something inside the dino's teeth. But it might just be a tooth on the... I think that's a person. I'm pretty sure that's a person. Okay. Perfect world. I need to snipe that person off. I can't... I'm like 90% sure that's a person. But Vats isn't detecting them. So... I'm going to skirt around see what I can do. Yeah, there we go. Confirmation. That's a cannibal up there. And they've got... That's a makeshift rifle. Fine, they do actually have a gun. The question is, can I actually... Can I hit you from down here? Because the hitboxes around the teeth might be a bit on the the funny side. And go. No, I'm not sure I can, unfortunately. The game is being a little bit funny with me. And I don't want to waste too much ammo attempting it. Now, somebody's firing at something. Probably. In fact, actually, you know what? If I get up here on the far side of the bridge, I'll have a better angle. Because then, yeah, it'll actually be less of a steep angle. It'll be much more of a shallow angle. Then there's a good chance I'll be able to hit him without the teeth getting in the way. Or, 
I could say screw this and just head down towards Nelson instead. Nelson would be an interesting place to go and check out too. Just make sure we've got ourselves... Yeah, we got you up there. And then I can see someone in the street there. Fine. So this, this looks like it works. This is a quiet little spot. And I can just get myself a little bit more height by clambering up on this. Come on. I know you want to clamber up onto this rock. Yeah, there you go. There we go. That was the angle. So, their sniper is now dead at the cost of a single junk round. Fall down behind this rock if need be. We've got... Oh, there's a... There's a centaur over there. Okay, um, I wasn't really meaning to cause trouble with you guys at all. To be honest, I was more concerned about, you know, the people in the town. Because all I really want to do is get into the hotel, find a bed, and find a toilet. There's... Uh, yeah, throwing knife, spear, nothing major there. Sniper down. Question is, do the rest of them go to sleep at night? I don't know. Possibly. Bare minimum. At least I'm safe to approach the town. One hunting dog. I see over there. I'm already in caution. Wait, was I already in caution? I think I was in caution just from the centaurs. The dog, yeah, I see you, but you're sort of hidden behind something. Right. Might prefer to finish you off with just a pistol. I don't see anything else in that direction around the, uh, yeah, around the gas station. Novak's still called Novak. That's a promising sign. It's not called Cannibal Town or anything. More flipping hunting dogs. But I don't see... Yeah, one cannibal. I see you. Okay. Hang on. Hold still, please. There you go. There's one dead. Now, probably pull back. Pull back a little bit. Oh, hang on. What's coming for me now? What's coming for me now? And how many of them have guns? Like, I'm technically in danger according to the game. But if I just fall back over the bridge, will they just lose me almost immediately? Like, is anyone actually coming this... Nope, no one's actually coming this way. Good. I can just play a sniper game and pick them off one by one. In fact, if anything, those two idiots have just run forward and exposed themselves. If they're just going to stand there by the corpse, I should be able to pick them off momentarily. Oh, I see one of you over there. That's not who I was looking for, actually. I was looking for... Oh, there's a few cannibals. I don't know if I really want to try and take this place out. I mean, of all the people we run into who are hostile, cannibals are generally the not so bad. Okay. Just more, 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 more. You can just go down, please. Are you willing to hold still, by the way? I think you're willing to hold still. And if you are, that would work for me. And there we are. Ooh, not quite, but dead now. Okay, we're using up a fair bit of ammo, but we're taking them out. Okay, slight issue. Um, The centaur that I accidentally drew the attention of earlier is now deciding it wants to come into, into town. Oh, flip. Okay. Bit of a rock and a hard place situation now. Bit of a rock and a hard place. Um, somebody had a bead on me with a gun. And there is a centaur trying to flipping hunt me down right now. I see you over there and... Not actually that dead. Uh, okay. Go over to something a bit on the faster side actually. No, no, not, not that. Oh, hang on. That'll do. That'll do the job, though. Have you just been distracted by the centaur? Because if so, that would be just flipping marvellous. Yeah, that's right. You two fight it out. You two just fight it out. That's great. You just finish him off. You'll probably do a beautiful job there. And if you want to waste all your ammo on that, I'll just... Oh! Excuse me. I was watching a fight. So they're just fighting each other. He's obviously technically got infinite ammo right now. I've probably picked a bad time to reload. Okay. You've killed that person, but now you're... Now he's just walking into town. Oh, this is marvellously good news. That centaur is going to kill them all for me. Except, oh, did you just kill the centaur? Hang on, are you not... You're not interested in fighting the centaur at all? Or are you trying to... No, you're just trying to get hold of some gear. Got it. So the centaur is going to totally 100% finish them off. Right, and then, then it's going to come for me. Right, so the downside 
of basically cheering on Team Centaur is uh, that Centaur is... Okay, Centaurs are... They are tanky. They are really tanky. Gotcha. And also, they seem to sort of aim in a sensible fashion. Um, I need to, yeah, make sure I'm just keeping on his projectiles. I need to get away. Better yet, keep a nice rock between me and him. Because I would love, just flipping love, to actually, you know, ransack some of the corpses that you've just taken out for me. Uh, nine millimeters and whatever. Flipping heck. That's, that's a ghost rifle. Um, ignore that. Don't worry about it. It's in poor condition and actually doesn't even do... 32 is pretty good, actually. Right. It weighs 8. 8's not even that much. It uses micro... Do I even have microfusion cells? I think I just dumped all my microfusion cells back at Helios 1. Like, technically, they're not that rare. I could... Okay. How do I... Bloody hell. I do not want to leave that behind. Take the holy writings. We're definitely going to figure out what these guys are worshipping. Okay, leave it for now. Consider coming back for it. The story of the tallest wall in the early days of the earth that lived the bull strong and noble. His grazing fields were vast. He had all he could need. But there lived in those days another beast, the bear, cruel and scheming. The bear saw the happiness of the bull and was jealous. The bull knew of the bear's jealousy and built the great wall to keep the bear away. Okay. Is this actually talking about the dam? Is that the wall? Because the dam is sometimes referred to as like a wall or as a tombstone or as various other poetic things. The bear fled but took the wall for himself. It is said the bear still holds the wall though the bull died long ago. Yeah, okay, presumably the dam. I've seen that they're still occupying the dam, gotcha. So this is just like a slightly garbled version of history as told through like myth or whatever. Okay, see what else we got going on here. Nothing much, and nothing much do I have. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Right, go, 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 go. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Get that. Oh, blimey, hey, what even was that? I don't know. Right, lead them to the centaur. Lead them to the centaur, lead them to the centaur, lead them to the centaur, lead them to the centaur. There we go. Now I just come down over here. Vodka, no, keep drinking. My two enemies can totally finish each other off here. Here we go. This is perfect. So that evolved centaur can deal with all of them for me. And the centaur's already naffing off to do precisely that. And I think someone has got, like, you know, a grenade rifle or something. And, oh, wow. That grenade rifle was actually doing a pretty decent job. They're actually doing some work to the centaur right now. Need to be a bit careful. I need to especially see if I can take out the one who's got... Yeah, the, the grenade rifle. Okay, the grenade rifle is still being fired. That centaur is actually going to be taken out momentarily. I should back off just in case they actually, you know, win that. Oh! Hello! Right, um, you need to go down, by the way. Because I'm kind of lucky you decided not to attack me. By the way, what actually did you have? Was that, that looked like a railway rifle. And, okay, makeshift grenade launcher, but you're just using the railway rifle assets. Gotcha. Right, probably best we just stay out of the way around here. So, this has worked out pretty nicely. Just actually lead a centaur into town and then let the centaur do the work. Question is, how much is left here? That's one hunting dog. That's fine. I can take that out if need be if it decides to charge at me. And there's, oh, that is another person who decided to go and take on the centaur. This has just worked out marvellously. Now, bear in mind, there's... Hello. I I see you there. I see you trying to get round to me. Good luck. Yeah, thought you were about to make an appearance. Good skull staff, by the way. Excellent skull staff. But not quite good enough because I have a gun. And that is... Further... Oh, oh, flip, 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 flip. Is the centaur dead? I think the centaur might be dead at this point. Go, 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 go. Get around the back of something. Lead them to the centaur. Where is the safety centaur? How many flipping of them are there? There's so flipping many. Right, get a bit of healing going on here. Use that third person camera. Where's the centaur? Well, they're firing at something. Somebody has decided something is a target. I just don't know exactly. Yeah, there it is. That centaur is not dead yet. Nice. Okay, I see you over there. 
And have I got you? No, I do not believe I have. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And... Wait, and wait, what happened to my... The vision just got a lot clearer and I don't know why. Yeah, for whatever reason, the dust bit of dust just actually um, unloaded. So, that, that's good. That is good stuff. There's still two more hunting dogs. And at least one person with... At least two people with guns. Oh. Flipping hell. Come on. Just take them all out. That's... At least one of them just went down over there. How many... Okay, I think that actually took out both of them. Two bullets, two dead. The centaur is actually dead as well. Now you are... Please just naff off home. Just go home. Oh, hang on. He's got something else he's firing at. Are you just... He's just firing at Brahman. That's odd. Why? Have you just only discovered that there are Brahmin living in your town? All right, screw it. I think we might be in the clear to go to the hotel at this point. That guy's on the far side of town. It's night. I'm creeping. I've invested reasonably in stealth. At this point... There's a massive old pile of corpses. Most of them weren't made by me, but screw it, it'll do. Now you have got, yeah, there it is. That has not despawned yet. So remember where that is, it's just below the rock. And there are a lot of flipping bodies here these days. Right, there's a dog there. That might yet notice me, but honestly, it doesn't really matter if it does, unless of course that draws the human's attention in. But for the most part, we're good. Now, fun thing, about this area. This area deliberately has, like, you know, left enough stuff to make a weapon repair kit or two just sitting around in the garage. So, if I could just actually pick up that gorse rifle, repair it a little bit, I might actually be in lovely... Okay! I'm glad I just happened to spot you right there, because I think you were literally about to bite me in the back. So... This has all worked out marvellously. And even more corpses. Yeah, I took these two out myself, which I'm very proud of. Just take a bit more on the ammo side, please. Uh, nothing else I need. I've got enough strange meat pies. Good. I think we've cleared out the hotel. Marvellously good news. Let's ransack it. Oh my goodness, they've actually decided to set up a bunch of the little T-Rexes. Oh. They finally proved useful and desirable to somebody. That's lovely. Oh dear, the water's getting out of control and it's starting to really badly knacker my perception. I can't even open basic safes anymore. Right, let's go find a toilet to drink out of and then a bed to sleep in. Right, this room will do as a starting point. Just check it's all as it should be. And one toilet, including some drugs. Right, go, go. Go, go, drink deep, and that has got rid of water entirely for barely any rads at all. Okay, this, this could be an excellent spot as a little local base because there's a bunch of stuff I want to do around here. There's going to be Nelson. There's going to be, obviously, we now know we need to go down to Searchlight because we've literally been told, hey, go check out Searchlight. There's a bed I can use right here. Yeah, water, beds, plenty of food. Everything is actually in pretty good shape here. And just quickly check this. Okay, good. Do I just want to... Yeah, I may as well. I may as well just... Can't sleep while trespassing. Right. That might be a bit more of a problem. But this room is not marked as trespassing. There is someone who lives here right now, by the way. But screw it. I'm sure he can be convinced to move out. By, you know, shooting him in the head. Lovely. And by the way, I am... Oh, bloody hell. This, this agility. <laughs> I'm so not agile and drunk right now. Badlands armor, all of that business, nothing major. Yeah, this room. This could be, yeah, this has still got water. We've still got water, which is marvelous. But we've got ourselves, oh, an actual queen-sized bed. Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping, yeah. That's the stuff. So, I shouldn't need to sleep that long. Seven hours should be absolutely flipping fine. Because bear in mind, it doesn't matter that my thirst is going to go nuts overnight. Because, uh, yep, I've got a little bit hungry. That's fine. I feel less tired. So now I can just come over here and drink up from the toilet as my first little routine 
in the morning. That's absolutely fine. Now my food is up to, yeah, 462, which is a little bit on the worrying side, but I've immediately got ant meat. I'm just going to eat all of that right now because it's not very good. Right, so that's all gone at this point. Uh, next up, I've got all the dog steaks. And, oh, I've actually got some fire ant meat as well. Finish that off too. Right, have myself a couple of steaks as well. That'll get the weight down regardless, so that's nice. Food's now basically down to almost nothing. Sleep is fine. Water is A-OK. -okay. Oh, we're actually in good shape. We're actually in flipping good shape. Now, just quickly down that with an extra bottle of scotch. That, of course, has a negative impact on water, but I can drink that straight off out of the toilet. And now, now we are in marvellously good shape. And, oh, hello! We do have a slight problem. One of the cannibals has got up, who presumably went to, like, bed or something. So, just need to finish off... Oh, what the... Who exactly are you? Hope I get a... Well, I got a critical, so that's nice. So, apparently, there was just, uh, yeah, someone with flipping face wrap armor and makeshift grenade launchers. But, you know what? I'll take it, because now I get to level up. Whew. Right, okay. Lockpick. I wouldn't mind that going up. Medicine would actually be nice. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Get medicine up to 35. Put a little bit into survival. In fact, yeah, put a load into survival. Medicine, survival, that is a good thing to invest in. If anything, I'd be willing to take a few points out of that just to get survival a little bit on the higher side. Yeah, I'll take that. And uh, points. Now, bloody mess. This is, yeah, 200 points of sanity down, but 5% extra damage. And I do a lot of alcohol to offset that. Burden to bear would be lovely. Revolver training, arguably I've just kind of burnt all of my revolver ammo. In fact, actually, if anything, I'm really low on ammo right now. I need to be a bit careful of that. No, I'm taking burden to bear. I want the extra carry capacity. An extra 10 would be very welcome. And it's also nice to see the dust filters back in play. Welcome back, I did miss you last night. Now, just ransacking these things here. Got some Thorazine, a handful of extra bits and pieces. Uh, there's some um, snack food floating around. Noodles! Noodles are good. I'll take some noodles in either case. Noodles are excellent. There's a hot plate, but I've already got one of them now. More whiskey as well. This is just going very nicely. Ooh, there's a bottle of wine. I'll take a bottle of wine, thank you. Ooh, and I've also run into another cannibal who just spotted me somehow. Well, that's, that's fine. Two shots will finish you off. You got yourself a bladed gauntlet, did ya? Hello, you just spotted me. Well, that's fine. There's only a handful of them left at this point. This is all absolutely okay. Ooh, the storeroom key. And a human skin mask. Very, very nice indeed. Right, well, not actually very nice. Kind of very gross. Uh, also, we've got ourselves... I don't need a glowing mushroom. I'm not sure I can pick it up anyway. I'll just keep taking all of your alcohol too. Ooh, and Manny's server has actually been updated. So, hail Motel, Lord of the Sands, who feeds on the maggots of sin and chews them with very sharp teeth. Oh, he of the many children, long may he watch of us. A prayer to Motel. All right, what can we actually get out of this? So, great and powerful Motel. Why is this world so cruel? Savage and malicious raiders did destroy Heliodoro, the son of Branimir, the leather crafter. Oh, we wept and did curse the tribesmen, but for naught, our attempt for retribution proved just as fruitless. For all in our party did become prisoners and were mostly crucified. I pray you will give us a sign, a sign for war. Shall we unite the men of the Sun Temple or the warriors of Hilltown? What, O oh Motel, what do you wish of us? Right, so, obviously, Helios one we know about, but Hilltown. Nelson isn't really on a hill, like you're approaching a hill, it's actually down at the bottom for the most part. And other than that, well, I guess you go up a hill to reach the Rep Contest Center. So possibly that's Hilltown, maybe? I mean, it's up in the hills nearby. Well, potentially an interesting sign that, yeah, there's something going on around the Helios 1 test site. And by the way, I'll be having, no, not the spork. I'll take the noodles, though. Noodles are great. A few more cannibals need to be killed yet, but that's fine. I'm just picking them off as they get up in the morning. Hey. And the DC Journal of Internal Medicine is actually still here as it is in the base game. Beautiful. Slight problem, though. I am getting dangerously low on ammo. I need to find some new stuff. 
You know what I'm really hoping for, actually? Just in theory. Just in flipping theory. Ooh. Well, this is interesting. Mexican hunting rifle. Damage 23. Well. This is of interest. So this is damage 20. Hang on, what have you got? Damage 22 up to DPS of 30 with bonus critical chance. That is... Uh, Damage 23 up to DPS of 54 with bonus critical damage and chance. Okay, that's kind of replacing Paciencia, I guess. Uh, well, in that case, I will gladly swap that round. That's a good deal. But what I was about to say is, uh, is that gun by any chance still located uh, actually inside the dino? Because if it is, uh, I've got plenty of 556 and that's a powerful gun. Ooh, the dino is now the Temple of Motel. But there's no one in here. Everyone who was in here has already been driven out and killed. Stim pack and some bottle caps I can never use for anything, so I don't know why I even bother collecting them. Yeah, they treated the giant dinosaur as if it was uh, actually some form of holy thing. Not too surprising, really. It is kind of cool looking. Take some more pre-war money. Take some ammo. Oh, yeah. Six through eight rounds. That is very good indeed. Okay, this is it. This is the moment right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Tragically, understandably, not. Like, you know, I wasn't really expecting it to be there. I don't actually need rocket souvenirs. That gun is not available. It, you know, it was kind of hoping for too much that it might be really was. But, ooh. I'll take the complete teachings of Motel, however. That's good. Hang on, this is actually a skill book. Survival increased by three. Nice, I'll take that. Oh, the dinosaurs. They laid the dinosaurs coming up to the top. Oh, who was this guy I killed then? Were you the high priest? Well, if you were, you were put in... Ah, tattered rags. Maybe a sacrifice? Hard to tell what the thinking is. Oh, hang on, in the morning, one of the cannibals who's actually inside, yeah, the little front office had some new holy writings and uh, the safe key. Oh, please. Please tell me that gun is here. Please tell me. Boo! Holy writings, though. Okay, we got a bit more lore here. So, story of the drought. In the old days, many evils plagued the land. The fighting of the bear and the bull, the scandalous activities in the city of Vegas and Gomorrah. Motel saw this and judged. He sent forth a great drought to starve the bear and the bull and all the sins of Vegas. Motel was not without mercy. He spared a select few. We, the people of the desert, we are his chosen. He has taught us how to survive, how to find life in the desert. For this, we are thankful. Okay, the implication being this place was somehow spared from the great droughts. Is there water here? Does their water tower still work? That is interesting. And yeah, the final one that was locked inside the safe it is said, these few still roam the sands, tortured by the weight of their sins. They are no longer human, but walked in disgusting husks of writhing tentacles and swollen flesh. They put their faith in the bear, and so they paid the price. The centaurs. That's got to refer to the centaurs, the mention of the tentacles. They put their faith in the bear, and so they paid the price. Now that, that rather suggests that there's a connection between these ridiculously hardcore centaurs and the NCR. Now that, that's something worth keeping in mind. Let's just quickly search that evolved centaur. Centaur blood. Doesn't weigh anything. I may as well take it with me. Right. Now, does that mean anything? Does that centaur blood do something? And yeah, this is of interest, but more importantly... With that extra weight I just picked up, let's just quickly, yeah, grab some ammunition. But more importantly, I've just picked up a ludicrous mega rifle. An utterly ludicrous mega rifle. That is, uh, that's power. That's power right flipping there. And it might be power I can improve further yet. Weapon repair kit, I've actually got the repair skill for. That means I just need to make the damn thing. Duct tape, hammer, scrap metal, wonder glue wrench. That, that is just floating around everywhere around here. Yep, just got one of them straight away. No problem at all. The limiting factor is going to be the hammers. There's not that many of them floating around, unfortunately. Probably because everyone's been just converting them into throwing spears. Oh, wait, hang on. 
I don't think the hammer's being used up. I think the hammer's actually reusable, which does kind of make sense. Was that always the case? I can't remember if that was always the case. Because I swear I've only found one hammer, but I keep reusing it. Anyway, add all that together. I've got weapon repair kits times five. Okay. And that, that makes me pretty happy. Because that means I can get this out, which is currently in terrible condition. And please tell me I just happen to have a fixing things. I'd love to have a fixing things right now. No, I've got fixer, but not fixing things. That's fine. I'm in good conditional things considered. Right, just go over to that. And that is, oh, that's looking better already. That's looking better already. Just, just keep it going on. Oh, yeah. Damage 55. Damage 55. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's in nice shape. Now, what else needs a... Uh, a tune-up. That thing needs a tune-up right there. Weapon repair kit. Get that up to an acceptable condition. I've got plenty, well, enough ammo for it for the time being. Police pistol. Honestly, I'm out of ammo for it, so it's fine. Super sledge. Use one on that as well. Get that a little bit better as well. Okay. Now that. That was worth doing. That was beautifully worth doing right there. That new Mexican rifle. Okay. We've actually got ourselves some decent condition gear, a decent amount of armor, and a decent base. Oh yes, and more importantly, most importantly of all, of course, I've got myself a gorse rifle. Oh, I've got a ridiculously, stupidly powerful sniper weapon right now. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy with life. Not least, as a couple of idiots just decided that what they want to do is come and try and take me on with knives. So, good luck. Good luck with that. We'll just, I think, just hit you with my super sledge. And we'll just go for a quick swing against you. Lovely. And then move in for a block, please. There we go. And block. And... Okay, you've all just got machetes, don't you? Yeah, okay. Good, good luck with all of this. Good luck with absolutely all of this. Yeah, the cannibals have started running away in terror at this point, and I can't desperately say I'll blame them. Down you go. You see, I didn't even want to pick a fight with those guys, but I'm happy to merge them with a giant hammer if they insist. I just wanted to come back to Helios Warner, because I remembered that I actually made, you know, a few deposits in the ammo box around here, and oh bloody hell, I do need to sort out this alcoholism at some point. Like, for example, I decided to leave multiple microfusion cells here. So now, I've got six shots out of one of the most ludicrously powerful weapons I'm going to be able to find in the entire game. And I'm very happy about that. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I'd say that's enough for now. We have made, uh, oh yeah, some very solid progress today. I would say that we have found ourselves a really good regional base. I have found a town and managed to clear it out with, I would say, some pretty decent strategy there, leading the centaur into the town, albeit kind of accidentally, but screw it, it worked, so I can just pretend I meant to do it all along. Yeah, I've got myself a home base. A home base that's got beds and water, and as for food, I've got plenty of that for the time being too. Doc Mitchell is in very good shape to go exploring. So, next week, starting from Nova, we can go and check out, yeah, Hilltown, presumably heading out over here, see what's going on down in Nelson as well, and then head south, because we also found a note specifically mentioning searchlights. So, we're probably supposed to be nipping down there at some point. We'll see if we can find a, a good route down there, but I think we're doing a good little job here. All right, we've done a good job nipping all up and down this side of things. That's all gone pretty nicely. And now we can just see what's going on down in the southeast corner of the map. But once we get set up here, you know, all the advantages we're gaining right now, all the new weapons, all the new experience, I think, pretty soon, it'll be time to turn our attention north. So, maybe, depending on what we find down south, it's time to return to Vegas the week after. We shall see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Fallout New Vegas with Dust. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got ourselves- I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.